Welcome to Bajigur Widang Rondi. I'm Gary Wiryawan. Today I want to talk about what's in my camera bag for travel photography. I am not a professional photographer. And although I do a lot of travel photography, I do it just for fun. However, I hope that what I will share will still be useful for you and can still inspire you. So let's start with some basic guideline of what I'm about to show to you. For this travel, I try to keep everything lightweight and compact, including my camera gear. So what I will about to show you is considered minimal, in my opinion, but they can still cover everything that I need. Also, keep in mind that I always travel whenever I can with dual camera bodies. Because with two camera bodies, I can have two lenses be ready at any time so that I can shoot anything that I need to photograph whenever I need to. First, let's talk about the camera bag. This time, I really want to travel very light and I want something very compact that is stylish but functional. So I automatically stayed away from backpacks or large messenger bags. To fit this purpose, I choose the Ona Bowery messenger bag. It's very small, it's made of canvas, and it stores just enough for what I need, no more and no less. Now let's see what's inside the bag. So let's start with the travel items that aren't photography related. I usually will carry some kind of gadgets uh, with me as my multimedia consumption device for both entertainment and light work. This time, I'm carrying my old trusty Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. I mainly use this tablet for media consumption as well as for photo editing using Lightroom Mobile as well as for cloud documents for working while on the go. A little note, using the Lightroom Mobile on this tablet has been a very enjoyable experience for me these last few weeks because now the features on Lightroom Mobile is almost as complete as the desktop version of the Lightroom CC. This negates the need for me to carry a laptop. And then for my other tech as well as for organization, I have the Bellroy Elements Phone Pocket Plus Wallet that carries some important items such as my battery pack, my additional cards, my extra cash, and my earphones. I also sometimes use the Bellroy to store my phone inside so that it is protected from the weather. Moving on to the photography gear, as I mentioned earlier, I travel most of the time with two bodies and as you can already see here, I have the Panasonic GX8 and the Panasonic GX7. They are a bit old by now but I don't really see the need to upgrade to the newer bodies yet as my cameras are still producing good enough image quality by today's standard. I used to carry lots of lenses but now I stick to just 3 lenses maximum whenever I can. Let's start with the GX8. The GX8 will usually yield my main lens such as this Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7 that I will use as my all condition work around lenses. If I need to cover multiple focal lengths at once from normal wide to telephoto then I will put this Panasonic 14 to 150mm f5.6 on my GX8 and just zoom in and out as needed. Bonus point. If I use the 14 to 140 mm, the lens is stabilized, so now I can record smooth video without having to deal with shaky footage. Now, my secondary body is my Panasonic GX7. The GX7 will usually yield what I call utility lens, which most of the time can be a dedicated telephoto lens or a wide angle lens such as this Laowa 7.5 mm f2. The reason why I use the GX7 that way is so that I can cover the blind spot of the GX8 lens and be ready to shoot anything anytime. Speaking of the Laowa 7.5mm f2, this is my preferred travel wide angle lens. The lens, although manual focus only, is sharp, has large aperture, and is very small, so it's easy to carry around when I travel. As you can see, with my micro four thirds, I can fit all the gear that I need to shoot almost anything inside a very small bag so that I can keep everything compact and lightweight. So that is all for today's video. I hope you find this video to be useful. Please like, comment and share and also subscribe to my channel. Also check me out on Instagram and my photography blog with the link in the description below. Thanks and goodbye.